everybody, this is Anime Game Otaku 95. Last episode, I was traveling around through the woods and I met up with the girl who told me that her tribe relies on the ancestors' wisdom and their legacy. And the reason why they attacked Aloy in the first place because they thought Aloy was one of those people who was envious and ignorant, but Aloy. Uh, managed to team up with the girl so they could figure out how to go look for that Demeter data and after Aloy got that data the uh, uh, tribe girl managed to convince her friends that Aloy is the Elizabeth Swordboard reborn and well the tribe managed to stop attacking Aloy for now and since I turned in the Demeter data back to Gaia now, we're going to have to figure out how to go get the Hephaestus data. But first, I'm going to go do some few more side missions. So, what's going to happen next? Let's go play. Okay, I think this is where I'm supposed to go look for one of those land gods. So... Oh, it's a good thing I got the fine cuddles. Okay, let's see. Okay, I think this land guard might be based on the tri Triceratops machine, so... Gotta be ready. Climb up to that land guard. Oh, that was a long way, but... Uh oh, ah, come on. Get 
One down, two to go. Zo, are you there? I'm here, Aloy. Just planted the reboot code on Doe. He was a bit tangled up, but he's better now. Good to hear. Doe always returned to the sacred cave at the end of winter. So his festival foretold the coming of spring. During those times, I remember clinging to my mother by the hearth, snuggling for warmth, listening to her sing of new beginnings. Which is exactly what you're going to give to your people. I hope so. All right, then. I'll head to Plainsong and deliver the code to the land gods there. Okay, it looks... In the land god shrine. So said this one broke down amidst a herd of machines. Better be careful. I guess they were leaving offerings to the land god. That looks like something... Whatever did it might still be around. Okay, I'm guessing I have to go kill off the machines before I have to go reboot the land guard. Okay, the big machine didn't notice me, which is good. Oh, where'd you go? Now! Where'd you go? Move back, move back. Come on, come on, move it, move it. Time to install this code on that land 
Yeah, let me just grab some of the stuff on the dead machines. Uh, it's okay, little guy. I'm I'm here to help you. Uh -oh. Ah! Who's here? Oh no! Ah. Uh, get away. I don't want to touch your force field. Where'd you go? Okay. Yeah, before anything else happens, so let's hurry up. and installed the reboot code. Fitting then that I feel thankful. T's festival came in winter, when all the grain from the harvest was stored away. It was a season of gratitude, and all the children would receive gifts. The best was my first bow, made of you, strung by my father. Well, he definitely taught you how to shoot well. That he did. There's one more thing. I found two of your people. A stormbird got them. But I took it down. Oh. I'll make sure someone retrieves their seed pouches, so they may return to the land. How are things on your end? Getting there. A few land gods to visit still. Okay. I'll call you when I'm done with the last one. 
Thank you, Aloy. Okay, I'm almost to the door in the final mm. land guard. One of the land guard shrines. So said this one sank in a nearby lake. Well, it's a good thing I have a diving mask. Let's see. Uh oh. There's a machine right there. Oh, get down, 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 get down. Don't let him see me, don't let him see me. Okay, I'm guessing I have to go back to the base, so let's go. Okay, let me see how many side missions. Oh, there's three more side missions I didn't know about this, so. What's going on here? You're the one who spoke before the chorus. Maybe you can help. This is not your concern, Outlander. Have we not tolerated enough of your intrusion? I think you can handle one more. What is it? My wife, Kalai. She was to join the course. She went up to the promontory to perform the rite of discovery, but she must have fallen. And now they are abandoning the search. We have done enough, Bree. The search party found nothing but her instrument broken beside the riverbed. And atop the promontory was only the dye she used for the ritual. We will not ask more of our people to risk their lives because of one woman's stubbornness. But the seed she carried deserved to be planted and remembered. I heard how you helped the land god, Ray. How you saw what no one else could. Please, will you look for her seed pouch? False hope is a creeping vine. Hmm, okay. The Rite of Discovery. What is it exactly? It's a pilgrimage to the Promontory. The place where the first Utaro beheld Plainsome. Goli was to follow the path our ancestors took. Mark her eyes with dye and then play her song while overlooking the land. She then would have added her mark on the Promontory itself. Joining the marks of those who came before. Every new chorus member used to make the journey. But because of the derangement, the practice has been abandoned. Too dangerous. No one's done it for years. Then why did she do it? We all urged her not to. But, as was her way, she ignored our warnings. She thought it would lend strength to her point of view. She needed to prove that she respected the old ways, even as she advocated against them. Then maybe more people would listen. What were Kalai's political beliefs? Radical. He would have gotten along. Flame Song was dying. But Kalai believed we didn't have to die with it. As the wind carries the seed to distant lands. She proposed that the Utara leave Plain Song and seek out a new home. We are bound to this land. A tree cannot pick up its roots, even as fire approaches. But you're not trees. It doesn't matter. Kalai was carrying a pouch of seeds? Every Utaro keeps one. We choose the seeds at a young age, taken from the plants of our forebears or those of other significance. And when one passes, their seeds are returned to the land that nourished them, so that life may spring again. Which is why I want Kalai's pouch. Her seeds deserve to be planted in plain song. The river will carry the seeds to new soil, where they will take root and flower. But they won't be at home. It's the best we can hope for. How was Kalai chosen to join the chorus? The chorus chooses its own. 
But they can't do so in isolation. They must listen to the people. Kalai was a growing voice for new ideas instead of old traditions, and her beliefs were catching on. We cannot deafen ourselves to dissonance, unpleasant though it might be. So you had to admit Kalai, or risk legitimizing her ideas even more. The Outlander catches on quick. Okay, then I guess I'll go help you look for it, then. If I'm out that way, I can take a look around. Thank you. The promontory is northeast of here. Look for the broken bridge at the bottom of the cliffs, right at the promontory's base. That's where the search party found her instrument. Okay. Is that all right with you? How you waste your time is not my concern. Searching for what the land has already reclaimed is fruitless. Okay, meanwhile, I'm gonna go check what the other side mission's about. Let me see. We'll have nothing she five months in. What's going on here? Sounds like there's a problem. We're speaking about something important, Outlander. You'll, please, later. A reminder of why I often prefer plants to people. So much less demanding. I apologize for Yol. My people used to be friendlier, but hunger robs many of their kindness. Seems like there's a lot around here in short supply. Is there anything that can help? As Yol said, we need food. So much so that we've sent hunting parties to the old growth, a forest in the north. We never used to hunt animals for food. We never had to, but as our crops fail, we run out of options. But something else went wrong. A machine slaughtered the last hunting party we sent out. A Klostrider. To hear the lone survivor tell it, more deadly than any we've seen before. Until it's gone, I can't risk more hunters, but without that meat, our people grow more lean every day. I saw you up there, when I spoke in front of the chorus. Yes. I'm sorry I couldn't do more to help you, and especially Zoe. Many Utaru like to think we're above politics, but that is far from true. I don't often agree with Fane, but I have to work closely with him on many matters. So you didn't want to cross him? Not in such a public way, no. I hope you don't hold it against me. What's done is done. It all turned out in the end. Without more food, how much longer can the tribe hold out? The land gods blight the fields more every day. A month? Maybe two? The maddening part is that many are resigned to this fate. Like Fane, who would have us simply wait to die. You heard him. Death is merely part of the grand cycle. But you'd rather do something? Yes, like send hunters to the old growth for food. Fane fought that idea too. He will undoubtedly cast what happened to the hunting party as another reason to side with if we let him. Tell me everything you know about the machine that attacked your hunters. It fell upon them near the edge of the old growth. One of them then survived. And mm, but I hope this machine's not too he big. To question him, he's recovering with our healers. The other four hunters weren't so fortunate. It must be a powerful beast. Can you destroy it? I've handled tough ones before. Good. The old growth must be made safe for hunting. One more thing. Every Utaru wears a small pouch of seeds. Given at birth, planted at death. It is how we remember our loved ones and celebrate their place in the cycle. It would mean a great deal to the hunter's families if you could recover them. I'll do what I can. I know you will. Be careful in the forest. Before I head for the old growth, I might want to talk to the survivor. See what he can tell me about the cost writer. Ah, huh, cost writer. What did I hear heard that before? Okay, meanwhile, I'm just gonna go look for one more side mission and then I'll go talk to Sol. So, hold on. Just give me a few moments. Hey, Lord. 
I hear you've been making quite the impression on the clan lands. Saving the Desert Clan from itself, forcing the Commander Takote out of hiding, defending the Grove from Regala. I didn't do it alone. The humble words of a true warrior. Is something wrong? No. Yes. There's a song I want to play, one of my own making, but it's hopeless. I'm just never going to get the sound right. What makes you say that? Back in the clan lands, the Sky Clan built instruments that cast sound to sky and across the mountains. They use long leg throats to make them bellow with the sound of metal. It's how they communicate between villages. Combining that sound with the Utarus would create a melody unlike anyone's ever heard before. But I won't be hunting for any long legs anytime soon. For now, you should try to metal weaver again. They might have some new piece you can use. Right. This song means a lot to him, doesn't it? It does, which is why I'm getting him that machine part. It'll be a surprise. The Utaru say that's the best way to receive a gift. Is there a long leg around here? As it happens, one has been troubling some villages southwest of here. You be doing me and playing song a favor by getting rid of it. Interested? Maybe. Tell me more about this long leg. It's a particularly nasty one. Looks different, too. Tainted like the lands around here. It protects a group of machines that overran a small outpost southwest of Planet Song. Its call is easy enough to track, but if it spots us, it'll call reinforcements faster than you can draw your bow. Take it out with the rest of those machines, though. Plain Song has one less problem to deal with, and Koray gets to play his melody. Victory for all. Okay, and what about the supplies? Come on! Oh, I'll get that. I didn't think the Tanakh cared much about gifts. When I first moved here, I remember some days were more difficult than others. But I came to embrace the life I found here, and I, I don't see why I can't help Corey do the same. He's lucky to have you. If I make my way down there, I'd like to help. I appreciate that. I'll head southwest and see if I can pick up a trail. Okay, now I'm going to go look for Soul and tell her the good news about the land guard. So let's go look for her. Soul's back. Aloy, you made it. All of the land gods have been updated. Now to send out the reboot signal. Wait, they could see? What does this mean? A new beginning. Gaia told me this would happen. To all of them. Do, T, So, and the rest. She called it a reboot sequence. But I didn't think it would be so beautiful. Soon the land gods will return to tilling the soil as they once did. So. The chorus wants a word. Of course they do. Do you want me to come? No need. I'll just tell them that our lands will soon bloom again. Who are they to argue? Find me later, and I'll tell you how it went. Good luck. And with that, we complete the mission. Yay! We did it! Okay, for my next side mission, I'm supposed to go to the base of something, but... Uh-oh. Looks like Kalai and the search party took down a few machines when they were here. 
Yeah, and there's still some machines there, so time to go kill them. Yeah, there's one more machine. No problem. I just need to kill it easily. I just need to make sure it doesn't see me. Footprints. Must be from the search party. He said this is where they found his wife's instrument. The search party concluded Kalai's body was probably carried away by the river. But from up there, that old tree would have caught her. I don't think she actually fell. I should check up at the promontory. Maybe the search party missed something. Looks like the search party took the trail under the stone arch. That must be the way up to the promontory. Well, I guess I better go climbing. Oh. Wait, do I... No, you know what? Let me go climb first, maybe. I am not supposed to climb up there. Nope, I'm going in the wrong direction. Maybe I should keep going this way. There's no tracks here, so... Okay, I'm guessing I'm supposed to go this way then. Uh, 
Let's see, maybe I should go in here? An old Utaru trailhead. Looks like this is where the Rite of Discovery started. And I could hear someone singing. Who's singing? Debris on the trail. It all looks like pieces of the bridge. Looks like this fell down here a long time ago. Maybe from a storm. Broken away. Kalai must have climbed her way up too. If Kalai made it to the top, she must have been a good climber. It doesn't add up that she fell. Maybe someone pushed her off to make it look like she fell. Ah, uh, that's just my guess. I'm not really sh I really don't know for sure. This must be the promontory. Looks like Kalai was doing something at that stone table. I should take a look. I was playing song. Just like the first two times I saw it. Okay, examine the stone tablet? The table? Flowers. Ground into a die. Kalai must have done this as part of her ritual. I should look around. My focus will help me figure out what happened to her. Search party was up here, all right. There's too many tracks to pick out Kalai's. These flowers have a trace of something on their petals. The dye Kalai was wearing. Looks like it left a trail. Too faint for the search party to have noticed, but my focus can pick it up. There's the die trail. Looks like it leads away from the cliff edge. Bree mentioned this was part of the Rite of Discovery. All of the marks look old. Klein must not have gotten to this part. The die trail ends here, with a lot of broken branches. I should take a closer look. Hmm. Branches were snapped off recently from some kind of struggle. And over here, drag marks. Looks like they lead through this thicket. I can follow them with my focus. the other woman yep she's dead she was strangled at least I can return her seat pouch to Bree So the killer must have tried to push Kalai off the cliff. That's why the search party found her instrument by the river. But Kalai fought back. So the killer strangled her. And then dragged her here. Wait, but is that the killer or someone else? Uh-oh. Ah, no, it's Dark Boy. Yeah, maybe that's how. Now, building to something.
Who else is- Ah, oh, no. Not no one. Who are you? Oh no, if I don't get some more, I'm gonna be dead. Where are you? Okay, I better grab the killer seat pouch. Might help identify her. Wait, how can you identify her with the seed pouch? Or do they put the names on the seed pouch so they can know who's who? Well, anyways, I'm gonna go grab the seed pouch anyways. Maybe Fane and Cal back in Plainsong will know who the seed pouch belongs to. Oh, so they didn't put any tags on the seed pouch then. Okay, time to go back. That's Glyde's. You found it. Bree. Glyde didn't fall. She was murdered. What? I went up to the promontory. I found Kalai and the body of the woman who killed her. That's impossible. The search party already checked up there. There was nothing. The bodies were in a separate clearing. Away from where the search party checked. A stalker had mauled her while she was trying to hide Kalai's body. Who was she? I don't know. I was hoping you would know. I brought back her seed pouch. That belongs to Lina. Kel's apprentice. I don't understand. Why would she do this? Maybe we should ask Kel. But she... You, there. Where is Kel? I saw her leave out the east gate about an hour ago. Going home. Summer wind. She's running away. She needs to stand trial. I can catch her. Where is this place? Look for a ruined settlement at our southern border. It's her childhood home. We will get the guards and try to catch up with you. Huh, so it was someone else who arranged the mortar and she told her apprentice to go do it. Okay, before I move on, let me go talk to the survivor of the machine attack. Then, I'm here about the machine in the old growth. You're going after that horror. I'm going to try. Do you mind answering a couple of questions about it? I'll... I'll tell you what I can. Okay, so tell me what happened. Tell me what happened, step by step. There were five of us, hunting for boar to help feed the tribe, just like we had done half a dozen times before. Some machines got in our way. Happens every time we go to the old growth. Like always, we cleared them out. But this time, when we were done, We heard this roar. Hey, easy. I saw a flash from the trees. All claws and tail. It ripped right through Cole and Re and Zan. Came right at me. Slashed my shoulder. There was blood. Then an arrow slammed into its neck. My friend Lau. He distracted it. Yelled and whooped it. It turned on him. He disappeared into the trees. And it followed him. Last thing I heard him yell was for me to run. So I did. I was halfway back to playing song before I realized what I had done. Left loud to die. And 
and can you describe what kind of machine it is? I mean, you did say claws and some tail, so... I better hope it better not be a not done the joy. Is there anything you can tell me about the machine that might help? It looked like a claw strider, but it was stronger. Much stronger. Anything else? Its armor was darker and it had a strange purple glow. Thanks. I think I know what I'm dealing with. Ah, uh, purple glow. What have I heard that before? I need to get going. You don't want to fight that thing. Trust me. I know what I'm doing. Well, if you do, I hope you cut it to shreds. It killed Lao, my oldest friend. Okay, I'm at the place where I need to go look for that machine that kills the hunters. And in the meantime, I need to go look for the pouches too. Ouch. But where are the other hunters? And the claw strider that attacks them. I better check for tracks with my focus. Yeah, I didn't see the claw strider. I just saw there. those machines. Claw strider tracks. I might have chased the other hunters deeper into the forest. Another hunter. Claw strider must have caught up to them. Okay, got the seat pouch. Better pick up the claw strider's tracks and keep going. The third hunter. I should collect their seat pouch. He died where the claw strider caught him. At least I can return a seat pouch. I need to put a stop to that machine. I better scan for tracks. Okay, three hunters. There should be one more. Claustrator probably chased after him. Yeah, but just show ends here, so oh, found it. There's some kind of residue here, it's sticky like tree sap. It might have been from a weapon. The survivor said his friend Lao distracted the machine so he could escape. Maybe this is where it happened. Looks like the claw strider continued up the cliff. Lao gave it quite the chase. The cliff's covered in gouge marks. The machine must have clawed its way up. Oh, we're going wrong way. Wrong way. Never mind, we're, we're going in the same direction then. Do. 
Looks like the machine's claw got stuck here. Slowed it down. While the hunter kept running. I think I'm near the. Wait, is that a cross sideway? It's not gonna take much damage from fire. No, that's not a cross. Tracks in here, and no sign of the last hunter either. I don't know where those machines are watching that crack in the cliff. Better clear them out first. Okay, if I want to keep on moving, I better go kill those machines. No. Check it out. Got a feeling Lao was pretty resourceful. Huh. Maybe Lao could be alive. Maybe. Alive. I wasn't expecting a rescue. Thank you, Outlander. I'm after the claw strider. Where did it go? You're hunting it? It's okay. I fought bigger. Who are you? Just stay here while I try to pick up its trail. I'll let you know when it's Uh oh. Is he on from here? What are you doing? Stay in your high spot. Hmm. Okay, my best weapon is to use this. easy it's low right Ben thinks he left you for dead he made it back I was worried about him he said you saved him by getting the cost to chase you huh. and he saved me by sending you after me so we're even I can't wait to see the look on his face when he figures out I'm alive go on back then and thanks for the assist he was just there. sitting there and here take this I can craft another one if I need it but well, I hope I won't after this, not for a while. One more hunter gets to go home. Now I just have to return the seed pouches to Shale. Well, before I go back and I 
and tell Shell the good news that his friend is alive. I'm gonna go stop and take a break, so until next time, this is Anime Game Otaku 95.